What must I do to be saved? Saved from what? What is it you wish to be saved from? Hell? That proves nothing. Nobody wants to go there. The issue between God and man is sin. Do you wish to be saved from it? What is sin? Sin is a species of rebellion against God. It is self-pleasing. It is the utter ignoring of God's claims, being completely indifferent whether my conduct pleases or displeases Him. Before God saves a man, He convicts him of his sinnership. By this I do not mean that He says with everybody else, Oh yes, we are all sinners, I know that. Rather do I mean that the Holy Spirit makes me feel in my heart that I have been a lifelong rebel against God, and that my sins are many. Have you ever had that experience? Have you seen yourself to be totally unfit for heaven and for the presence of a holy God? Do you now perceive that there is no good thing in you, nothing good credited to your account, that all the way through you have loved the things God hates and hated the things God loves? Has the realization of this broken your heart before God? Has it made you mourn that you have so despised His mercies, misused His blessings, broken His Sabbaths, neglected His Word, and given Him no real place at all in your thoughts, affections, and life? If you have not yet seen and felt this personally, then at present there is no hope for you, for God says, Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Luke chapter 13 verse 3 and if you die in your present condition, you will be lost forever. But if you have been brought to the place where sin is your greatest plague, where offending God is your greatest grief, and where your deepest desire is now to please and honor Him, then there is hope for you. The Son of Man came to seek and to save that which is lost. Luke chapter 19 verse 10. And He will save you providing you are ready and willing to throw down the weapons of your warfare against him, bow to his lordship, and surrender yourself to his control. His blood can wash the foulest clean. His grace can support and uphold the weakest. His power can deliver the tried and tempted. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day salvation. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 2. Yield yourself to Christ's claims. Give Him the throne of your heart. Turn over to Him the regulation of your life. Trust in His atoning death. Love Him with all your soul. Obey Him with all your might, and He will conduct you to heaven. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Acts chapter 16, verse 31.